Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading, but we're going to do things a little bit differently. Today we're going to take a look at your energy, we're going to take a look at your person's energy, and then we're going to take a look at your connection and their true and hidden kind of secretive feelings, maybe feelings that they're holding to themselves about you. Okay, Sag, let's get into this. For Sag, we have, today holds unlimited potential to see the beauty in life. For your person, align your intentions with your actions. Okay, let's get some more energy. Okay, Sag, for you, we have raise your vibration for your person. We have mother, father, God. I'm going to get one more for that one. And divine timing. Okay. Mother, Father, God, and Divine Timing. Okay, and one more. For you, Sagittarius, we have Isolation. For them, we have Discovery. Okay, at the bottom we have Enlightenment. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like, you know, you are coming into this, this discovery. You're looking at this relationship as something that can be very meaningful, something that's kind of making you feel really uplifted. But I feel like there's low points. There's low points in this relationship where you're kind of isolated, you're kind of separated. Um, and you want to raise your vibration in order to feel more accepted by this person. You know, I feel like you're kind of distanced. Your person, I feel like they have really good intentions. But I feel like they, they may feel like the timing just ain't right. Like they're waiting for some kind of situation to happen. And your, your person may still want to be the type of person who wants to explore, who wants to discover, who wants to see new things. And I feel like that puts you into a, a feeling kind of separation. Okay, we're going to take a look at three different decks because I'm going to use one deck for your energy, one deck for their energy, and another deck for the connection. Okay, so Sagittarius, for your energy, we have the Four of Wands. So you, you are very happy about this union. You feel like it's something that, that's celebrated. You know, you feel very close to this person. The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you may be juggling a lot of things. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, next to the Isolation, we have this, the uh, Eight of Swords. So there's still something that you're holding back. Give me another card for this Eight of Swords. What is this? Oh. What is this energy for the Eight of Swords? Give me a message for this isolation and Eight of Swords. The Eight of Wands. You're not very quick to take action, Sagittarius. Um, you want there to be open communication. You have the Ace of Wands at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like this, this this relationship makes you very happy. I feel like though you're juggling so many priorities, it's making you kind of unaligned with the situation. You may work more than one job. 
it leaves you with less time to focus on the situation, less time to focus on yourself and communication with this person. And I feel like this person sees that. That's the reason why we have the divine timing here. I feel like this person kind of feels like they're on the back burner a little bit. You know? But I feel like there's action that needs to be taken in order for you to break free of this isolation. Holding back, you know? You may need to tell this person how you feel or ask for help. For your person, we have, they have the Eight of Swords as well. Oh, so they're holding back as well. There's some hesitation, some reservations, and the Ten of Wands. So this person might be carrying a lot as well, but I feel like they're ready to put down those, those burdens, put down those wands, and put you first. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're pouring out their emotions. But they kind of feel like they're on the back burner, like they're not your first priority. I feel like they're they're looking for something. They're looking to be a first priority in someone's life. They want someone to give them exactly what they're what they're giving. You know, they they want to feel balanced. I feel that's why this divine timing and this discovery is here. They, they kind of feel like they're kind of put to the side, kind of like they don't fit in your priorities. They have strength on the bottom. So yeah, I feel like this person is kind of putting themselves first right now. They're putting themselves first. And how can this person get past this Eight of Swords energy? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person wants you to fight for this situation. The person wants you to fight for their attention. They want you to make a choice. They're waiting for results to happen. You know, they're waiting to be the center of your your attention. Hmm. Okay, let's use another deck. Okay, Sagittarius. We're looking at another deck now for the connection. For you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. For them, we have the Moon. So I, I feel like, Sagittarius, you feel like everything's all put together. You feel like everything's exactly the way it should be. Um, you feel like you've done all this work and you're you feel like things should be better than what they are but I feel like this person feels like there's still mysteries to solve you know they still feel like they're walking down this path that's kind of unresolved they see you know problems or changes that are affecting the situation They're not quite trusting the situation. For you, we have the King of Swords. For them, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, 
Sagittarius, you want to speak your truth. You want everything to be out in the open. Um, everything to be kind of transparent. So that everything can be resolved. And this person is like waiting for that to happen. They're waiting for the connections to come through. They're waiting for commitments. And I feel like they have patience in this situation, but they feel like they're just constantly in this waiting, waiting for something to happen, waiting for your attention. Yeah, for you, we have the Eight of Wands again. For them, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so Sagittarius, this person feels like that they have to kind of juggle for you to make communication a priority with them. They feel like you're, you're not making the choice to communicate, to spend time, to really see things how they are. what is this yeah the page of Pentacles you want this person to make the first move you want this person to kind of work on this and they want your attention your emotion they're spilling out this feelings that they feel kind of deprived neglected unappreciated and Sagittarius, you're you're just holding it. You're you're holding on to your feelings. You're not giving that emotion back. But I feel like they're still waiting. The four of cups for you. Yeah, waiting. And the high priestess for them. We have the star at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you're both waiting for things to happen. You're waiting for one to make the first move and the other's waiting for you to make the first move. It's like, okay, who's gonna who's gonna surrender and make the move? You know, who's gonna surrender and start the conversation? Um, because I feel like you're you're in this waiting as well, Sagittarius. And I feel like your person is They're hoping for the situation to change. They're hoping that things will work out for the best. You know? Very interesting. Let's get some love cards. For you, we have the palm tree. You're looking for stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance. For your person... Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. Okay. And for you, heartbroken, deep hurt, sadness, separation, breakup. So you're still hurt about something, Sagittarius. Something broke your heart and you're still holding on to that feeling. I feel like it's kind of holding you back. It's making you kind of close up and not want to express your feelings for them we have photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories so yeah i feel like this person really wants you to come close to them they really want you to open up they really want you to see them as someone you can trust you know um i feel like they're missing you a lot they're missing your communication and I feel like you're still heartbroken about some sort of situation and you're holding yourself back and because you're holding yourself back I feel like this, it's making reservations in this person and they're kind of holding back as well but they're waiting for you to make the first move okay 
Okay, let's take a look. We have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So you want to make, you want to maybe give some time because we also have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, for your person. I'm constantly dropping cards. Okay. For your person, two cards fill out. We have close your eyes and tell yourself what you deserve that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories of you have shared with those you love. Very, very interesting cards, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person has a lot of memories with you they are kind of seeing things the way they want to see things you know but i feel like they're waiting for you to make a move sorry okay the card that fell out you make me so angry. So yeah, I feel like there's frustration here. There's frustration either on your part or their part. There's frustration. We have rumors about you and them. So someone may be saying something. Someone may be saying certain things. Can we move past this? This is over. Get more information before making a decision. <laughs> I have a crush on you. Well, I feel like this person still has a lot of feelings for you. Even though this situation is kind of conflicted at the moment. I'm not ready to talk to you. At the bottom we have what I need to tell you will hurt your feelings. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are left unsaid. There's a lot of things that need to be said. Yep, let's go into an outcome. Let's go into an outcome for the situation. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The slowest moving knight in the deck. For them, we have the Nine of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, so Sagittarius, I feel like you're kind of in this waiting game. You're kind of in these stuck feelings you're kind of at a stop you know but I feel like your person your person is very hopeful that things are going to recover they're very hopeful that the situation is going to become better with this Queen of Wands at the bottom they feel very they're, they feel very hopeful that you listen to exactly how they feel because I'm not sure what's going on but I feel like there's a lot of things that are left unsaid. Yeah, we have the devil. So yeah, there's something holding you back. There's something being blocked. There's something that needs to be changed in order to move forward. The five of pentacles. Yeah, there's, the, there's something that needs to be be resolved your person feels left out in the cold they feel like like it's just over like 
you're just not willing to to listen in the eight of cups so they really want you to leave whatever this is behind they want you to move past this situation they don't want it to be over they want you to move past the situation so that it will be resolved they want all the truth to come out all the everything that needs to be said because they're looking for a new beginning they're looking for this to start again they're looking for resolution reconciliation you know that's what I've got for you Sagittarius so let's see now I'm gonna pull one more card what can Sagittarius do to get past this what can Sagittarius do perseverance I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, working through it, not giving up, persevering, you know? That's what's going to get you through it and trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Trust. That's the key to it all. And change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so yeah there needs to be a change in order for the situation at the bottom we have acceptance I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change so now that is what I have for you Sagittarius and if you like this spread please comment below um, whether I should keep this spread or not and um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also, Sagittarius, until the next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.